Oregon State? We won by five. It was the greatest review ever. Um, I know when we had to get a stop, we got a stop, and uh, the last possession was was a big time uh, a big time possession. Even though when Stevie had turned on David, did a really good job of taking him out. He started setting up that game winning shot that he had a couple against us with a left hand, and he took away the left hand and he forced him to go the where the other way, which was huge. Um, but anyway. I'm going to start rambling. You mentioned getting a stop, and it almost seems like the team takes a little bit of a different personality towards the end of the game, takes a lot of pride in getting those yeah. stops in yeah. the stretch. Yeah. I mean, do you sense something? Like, is there a switch or something that goes on with these kids? Oh, they just don't want to lose. You know, they've got the winner's, winner's spirit, champion spirit. And uh, the key is to. Get them out of those situations where they have, there, there's that possibility, which we've done for a long majority of the season. Um, I do believe, um, I do believe uh, in that game. You know, there was a lot of a lot of plays. You know, they made a lot of shots. You know, you had the four point play in the corner. You had the end of the half tinkle shot with one second on the clock fade away in front of the bench. <laughs> You know, sometimes those things happen. I feel like, you know, Cal, Cal Berkeley, same thing. Like some teams just are, they have a really good night. And uh, for the most part, there was a few breakdowns, but a lot better than I thought. Hey, uh, in these past three games, you, you guys have led for a lot of those games, but have just allowed the other team to kind of stick around. Stick around. Yeah. You know, is there, is there, obviously you do well and you make the plays to, win the game, but is there anything to, hey, let's knock these teams out early? As, as well, we've had, if you think about uh, at Utah, at Colorado, at Oregon, Oregon State, the same thing. I mean, Oregon, Oregon, we were leading the majority of the game, then they started pressing and, and they turned us over. Um, but we had an unbelievable start where we, we just kept lengthening leads. I felt like, you know, even when we had it nine, Oregon State, you just made a couple plays. It takes a couple plays, and that's where you know there's some substitutions. That's where the focus has to be there. And uh, these teams are, you know, they're starting to get comfortable of how how they execute against you too. And uh, and you got to give them credit. I mean, they had, if you look at their percentages of what they normally shoot, and then you look at what they do against us, it's a it's a different type of game. In that Oregon game, they did pressure you a lot. Mm -hmm. You hadn't seen it all year. And yep. A lot of time you didn't handle it well. Yeah. You expected to see the same thing. Yeah, Oregon's thing is their defense too. I mean, they turn you over. Uh, they've they're they're a lot like us in the sense of you know turn you over. They play a matchup zone. Uh, they're aggressive. They've got upperclassmen uh, that know their system, and you know it's a rivalry game. Uh, but they they they're disruptive. They're very disruptive defensively. Do you remember your last game at Syracuse? I do. Uh, it's emotional. I'm a crier at heart. Uh, I, I can watch E60, and you'll start seeing me just dead downpour. Um, or uh, yeah, I just you know like listen, you go out there, and uh, you know you've got a sellout, and uh, it's the, the fan. It's the chance for the fans to acknowledge what you've done, and I think that's an incredible thing. You know, it's a it's a great reward. It's something that it will be a brain tattoo for the rest of your life. And then going out there with your family, the people that have been there to support you the whole time, I and mean, that's just that's the that's the tearjerker part of it. And uh, you know, I was lucky enough to have a good game, and we won. And that's the you know, at the end of the day, the emotion's great, and that stuff's great. But you just got to be focused on the game at hand. Do you try to manage those emotions as a coach, or do you just let them all happen? I think the biggest thing is emotion uh, creates motion in the right way. And so, listen, at the end of the day, this is what we do. You know, this is, I'm, I'm going to be straight to the point. This is how we beat this team, and we've got to be able to go out and execute it. And enjoy the moment. It's a moment. Uh, but just like in anything, when, when you have something happen, you just got to reload, you know, refocus and enjoy it, smile, and get back on the court and execute it this way and play together and, play, you know, share and play great defense. And if we do that, we'll have a chance to win. Dom's starting tomorrow, yeah. Senior start. And, uh, he's a starter anyway. I mean, he's, it's, it's like we had never started him before. The guy's, uh, the guy's incredible, but yes. And he, you know, just talking to the guys yesterday, it's a, it's a, 
you know, listen, they've uh, they've accomplished a lot, and they've got a lot more that I know that they want to be able to accomplish. And uh, they've done a heck of a job, and very very proud of them. And not just proud of them what they've done on the court, but you know, going to be able to see them graduate, and, and uh, you know, the, the difference that they've made uh, on campus in the community. It's uh, it's pretty cool, and uh, you know. I'd be naive to sit there and say they don't get on the internet and read anything or they, that they're not going to be emotional walking out there with their parents and getting a standing ovation from 10,000 screaming fans that are going to appreciate what they've done. All we can do is give them the experience of when you're in that situation, just you know, have it, let it out, and then relocate, refocus, you know, get back to being centered. Yeah, yeah. It almost seems like the build-up last year to the Arizona game, does it feel the same to you? No, you know what? Um, that's a good question, Kim. Uh, I don't, I, I don't, I don't see the, the the similarity. But it was a huge weekend. I think, you know, all these games when you know you have a sellout, and you know family members are going to be there, and it just happens to be the last game in, in a big game, and just like the Arizona, I think it's all probably similar. I just have never thought of it that way. But uh, you know, it'd be a heck of a heck of a challenge. Anything else? Who's going to cry out there? Anybody? Huh? 